homes and buildings are being built higher, faster, better, and even with 3D printed construction getting a lot of hype, for now, it's still mostly with good old brick and mortar, laid by skillful bricklayers. But this home right here isn't being built by humans. It's being built by that thing. This is the ABLR, the automated bricklaying robot. It's an enormous rig that circles the site of where the house will be. After loading it up with mortar and bricks, it begins laying them down. First, it expels the mortar before placing the brick down on top and being able to do so with incredible accuracy at a rate of three bricks per minute. That's compared to your average experienced human bricklayer like Simon here, who would lay down four per minute. So it still needs to catch up a little bit. But that's not forgetting machines don't get tired and don't need regular tea breaks. This massive track surrounding the site allows the robot to go all the way around laying levels of bricks without ever needing to stop. And it means there's no need for scaffolding either because there is an operator in a separate trolley going around the track surveying the build. And this is where the UK's first home being built by a robot bricklayer will be. Now, not every brick is made equally. They all differ a little bit in size. And so the robot houses sensors to analyze each individual one. An algorithm finds the middle of a brick, measures it in milliseconds, and then places it, filling in the gaps with more or less mortar, so that when it's finishing a row, you're not short by half a brick or so. But it isn't totally self-sufficient. It still needs two humans to operate and load it. We started on this journey uh, five years ago. Um, we didn't initially expect it to take so long, but there are many complexities for getting a machine to work with standard bricks, blocks and mortar. The mortar is particularly a challenge. Why is mortar such a challenge? Uh, because it wants to set all the time. And they've managed to do that with this 3D printed nozzle. So the mortar is pumped nicely without too much pressure that would normally cause it to set quickly. The average age of a brick layer um, is over 50 years old. There's also a dramatic, massive shortage of labour and it's not that attractive um, to students. Um, so with a robot, you can build a house with a tablet rather than a trowel. Right, now it's time to take on the machine. Yeah, I've never laid bricks before, but I did watch a few tutorial videos earlier and Simon gave me a lesson. You, th you think I'll beat it? I've actually got a shot, all right. You have a lot of faith in me, more than I have in myself. So thank you. <laughs> and... Go. I dropped the mortar, sorry. What if I cheat a little? Hold on, let me do two. That's it, see? I did two at one. Can the robot do two in one? No. I've got five more left, how many is it done? No, it hasn't. Is it done? Then I've won. It's the one thing the robot can't do is refill itself, can it? The brick don't fit. Hold on. Right, push all these along. Done. This is tougher than I thought, and it actually takes a two year apprenticeship to learn the trade. So for the robot to do it so well is really impressive. But remember, it's still a bulky piece of kit. And against Simon here, who can do four bricks per minute, it's still a tad slow. There's also more and more 3D printed houses, but I'm told these just aren't as long standing. But what's gonna to happen to those houses in 20, 30, 40 years time, we'll finish up with substandard houses again. This is the way to build a house. Bricks, blocks, and mortar. This house that you're building here will last for 150 years. Are you just going to make a machine for everything? A machine for brick laying, tiling, insulation? Well, ju just, just the, the heavy superstructure uh, where there's a physically demanding work and the machine with its lasers and its sensors can bring a level of measurement that a human can't do. So this brick laying robot could do the job under the right conditions. And wow, it can really do the job. But skilled craftsmen everywhere can still rule sites with an iron fist. Well, a lot more skilled than I am. I'm shifting the brick. I can't even shift the. Have I ruined this house? <laughs>